recently made um, a random like tapping ASMR video and it actually gained, okay, it didn't go like viral or anything girl, it's not that crazy, but it actually gained a good, uh, like a decent amount of views and like I actually gained subscribers, which by the way, I've been doing YouTube for a very long time and I've had a couple good videos in the past. They're mainly like popular videos if that makes sense so for example the ones that gained the most traction for me was well first i did like what high schoolers are actually wearing at, it was like in like 2017 ish and in that era no i think it's like 2018 but like in that era those videos were hella popular so like it made sense i tagged it and obviously people watched it the other videos that got traction were my wildflower cases videos i used to do like unboxings and shit because i was like so obsessed um, and those gained like a lot of traction. I, Sydney, like, like actually watched my video. That shit was crazy. Which, if you don't know who she is, she is one of the co-founders of Wildflower, which is this like um, phone case brand that I'm like obsessed with. I literally to this day still wear and buy them. Okay, anyways, but um, I recently did a ASMR like video, and oh my god, you guys like. I was so surprised because I have been stagnant. I'm not gonna lie, this channel has been very, very stagnant in terms of like engagement and views and such, which, you know, at the end of the day, like it takes time and I'm willing to like, you know, be patient, but it was just very rewarding. I'm not gonna lie to like see that. And it wasn't anything crazy, like, but to me, I was very, very happy. I got like 1.3K views for that video, which is quite good for this channel. Um, and I gained like, 40 subscribers I think from that video and you guys that is that's news that it doesn't happen every day at all and I'm so grateful so for those of you who watched that video and you enjoyed it thank you so much but please like I said before like let me know if there's anything I can improve on because I only want to get better one thing I will say is I think I'm pretty happy with like the sound of that video so I left it at that same setting I have not moved it so Hopefully this sounds just the same. But to be honest, you guys, I'm gonna do the same vibe for that video, except this time I have not mentioned the elephant in the room. It is completely dark in here. I am literally only being lit. Give me a second. Sorry, I needed to clear my throat, but um, I, I'm only being lit by this candle. And oh my gosh, it smells divine. It's giving fall vibes. It's giving cozy. And I just cannot wait for that time of year. We're definitely still in the in the summertime, so which I love summer, but I'm not gonna lie. I am missing sweater weather and hopefully she comes up very very soon. But you guys, I think I'm gonna follow the same format as last time and just tap on random things I have lying around. I have I'm not gonna lie, my desk is a mess. There's random shit going on, so I'm gonna start off with this hat. I got this hat at the Oh, it's like our county fair and yeah I got it like customized it says a spice which is like this little nickname me and my friend Janelle made for each other because it was a random ass day we were in our car and we were listening to um, the Spice Girls which I'm gonna be honest with you I don't even grow up really listening to the Spice Girls I only know they're like most basic songs girl but anyways um I was like oh my god like like Spice is like a cute like I don't know name and I've never really had a nickname so I was like, girl, I'm going to call you J Spice and I'm going to call myself A Spice. And we were like, okay, cute, whatever. And it stuck with me. And I still very much use that as like my username for a lot of things. I really resonate with that name. I don't know. I find it cute. It's kind of stuck with me. And this is what it looks like on Low Trucker at Vibes. I love it. It's like I get complimented a lot. I get complimented on it a lot. And I appreciate that. But enough chattering make good sounds girl it does i checked already
time sometimes because of the shadows. I probably look a little scary sometimes. Don't be scared. Nothing but good vibes here, I promise. I feel like I keep needing to clear my throat, so girl, let me take a sip. if you heard my stomach. Like, honestly, a ceiling. 
but my mom has like two of them my brother has one of them my dad owns one i think and my niece has one has one now too because did i give her that i might have gave it to her i'm not even gonna lie it might have been me too but anyways you guys yes um, i'm gonna move on from that one because i don't know if i like it and i don't want to spend too much time on it if i don't like it you know what i mean so i'm gonna move on to the next item Next item I'm going to be using as my trigger is my iPad. show you my um, wallpaper. It's like a little cute scene. I don't know. I think it's so pretty. If I'm not mistaken, it might be from a Studio Ghibli film. I'm not too sure, but I think it's so pretty. But I loved using my iPad for school. It was so perfect. Taking notes on it. I'm not gonna lie, in the beginning was kind of difficult because you have to get used to, like, writing with an iPad. It's, it's a little different, obviously, than writing on, like, regular pen, like, with a pen and paper. But, um, with practice, I practiced a lot. I practiced, literally, I would just write the ABCs over and over. A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. I would just write that over. Personally, I don't know if you guys could even see that, but like I genuinely was so, so, so proud of myself. It took a lot of practice. You have no idea. I don't want to be dramatic, but like, girl, I was writing over and over. I'm telling you, so like my hand would cramp. I literally went through so much, um, like so many pencil tips of my Apple Pencil. I bought so many. Also, I have a um, screen protector that feels like paper. By the way, I know there's going to be the people out there that are like, it's ruining your pencil tips. It's okay. I can repurchase them. That is completely fine. That is my decision. That's what I want to do because it feels better to me. I don't like writing on the screen, like the, how smooth the surface is. Like I hate how it feels. I love this. But one thing to keep in mind, I will say, listen, it has like grit, like, like grippiness. So that way, when you write, it feels like you're writing on paper. Honestly, I'm going to turn my iPad off so that way I can freely, like, tap on it without it turning on. 
use it for like school like it's definitely not a necessity but it is 100% like very useful especially because you can have a, like your digital um, textbooks right on your iPad and you can have all of your notes in your iPad like you don't really have to carry much anymore realistically speaking you can throw this in a tote bag and call it a day not even gonna lie obviously there's occasional like workbooks you probably have to carry with you like carry around with yourself but I feel like you'll be fine um uh, it's just like an Apple watch like I will say it's not 100% necessary but like it definitely helps like it's definitely like it definitely helps um but like I said like it depends on what you want it for so for example as well if you wanted to use it for like art like digital art girl this is the way to go you can do so much on this iPad it's insane honestly even with like content creating like you can literally edit on here you can literally create your thumbnails and like make them personalized you can draw on them yourself you can use your personalized handwriting instead of using a font like you can have so much fun i'm not trying to sell you i promise i'm just saying like if you were thinking of getting one and you have the money for it go for it it's pretty cool like you can use a lot of i'm not gonna lie like i feel like a good amount of like hobbies that you can like use in a digital way your ipad will fulfill bullet journaling you can now do online it's crazy like for all of you like stationary girls oh my god do not get me wrong do not get me wrong it will never ever feel the exact same way as like writing on pen, like with pen and paper it will never ever feel the same however you cannot like deny the fact that like this medium is so cool you can now create digital bullet journals you can make digital diaries you can write in it with your own handwriting put stickers color draw anything you want okay if you notice that the camera angle is a little different um my camera died <laughs> or my phone died anyways but let me finish off what i was saying you could literally do anything with an ipad it's actually insane i love what you can do it really like mm. she finally found her laying position thank you chloe oh i don't even tell you guys yeah let me just end this real quick actually okay but yes get yourself an ipad if you want one i promise you it's worth it i love a good ipad but when my phone died i went off camera and i did a little if you get what I'm trying to say and now that I'm back I um, am excited because to end this video on a cozy vibe I'm gonna end this video with some Costco chocolate chip cookies mini chocolate chip cookies try to 
ASM artist. Um, oh, I can't remember her username, but she has such good um, ASMR videos. I know her in particular, particularly for her like eating gummy candy and playing Wordle on her iPad. I, if you know who I'm talking about, please comment it down below. I know who she is. I will find her. I watch her all the time. I literally have one of her videos downloaded, girl, because I love it. One thing I love that she does, I'm going to do it with you guys. Um, so shout out to that ASM artist. If I remember, I will put it down in the comments. But she always does. You take one first. So grab your cookie, everybody. Grab one or two. Grab as many as you'd like, girl. Get in there. All right. I hope you grabbed your cookies, girl, because we're about to dig in. This is my cookie. Crazy, crazy combination. <laughs> been my savior for my sleep for comfort 